najważniejsze transmisje sportowe masz teraz na wyciągnięcie ręki. Pobierz darmową aplikację TVP Sport. Link znajdziesz w opisie. Max, it's been over nine months since your, since your last fight and you've been, I think, a little bit quiet in the media, not doing so many interviews. So what have you been doing in this time? Ah, uh, you know, just getting better in training. I mean, nine months, I had nothing really to talk about, nothing to really promote. So, you know, we was doing some uh, behind the scenes stuff with, uh, with some charities and stuff. And, um, yeah, not too much. I mean, I guess on nine months, I guess you guys got about to see a newborn baby, a new, a new Max Holloway come, uh, come, uh, Saturday night, probably Sunday morning for you guys. I'm looking forward to see it. So, uh, actually, I saw your interview with Brett Okamoto from ESPN yesterday, and uh, you said that you don't like people whining and making excuses. Uh, but I wonder, was there something uh, in this last fight with Alex that you don't want to share with people because you don't want to sound like making excuses? I mean, no, nothing. You know, it is what it is. I, I, I was on that, I was on that side of fights where I have the performance of of my lifetime, and people keep backing up people or even even the opponent would come on and say, oh, that wasn't me and blah, 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 this and that. And I, I hate that. I even hate when guys win and they say that wasn't that wasn't the best me. So at the end of the day, I'm not going to make no excuses. Uh, whatever happened that night happened that night. The best man won that night and um, we're on to the next. So that was great to, to see you feeling great and uh, looking forward to, to see you back inside the octagon. But I wonder, was there any doubt in the first days, first weeks after uh, the last fight and uh, you've done everything you don't have to prove anything to to anybody so what drives you at this point to to still compete um i'm a fighter man i i, I was i was put on this earth to fight that's what i that's what i believe mm -hmm. i believe uh in the olden days in my ancestry you know in hawaiian olden days uh we can find my ancestry is a warrior was a warrior he's what he was a warrior with one of the highest elites you know the chiefs in Hawaii, so at the end of the day, I was born into this life, so that's why I want to do it. Mm -hmm, I see. I, I have a lot of, uh, have a, I did a lot of great things. People keep telling me, but I have a lot more, a lot more to give to the sport, and that's what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm curious, what drives you at this point? Is it uh, getting back uh, the belt or uh, just having fun because of the love of the sport and your ancestry, as you mentioned? Oh, for sure. Getting back to the belt, getting back to championship form, man. Um, I think so. If you're not trying to change, uh, chase a championship fight at this point, then you why why fight? You know why fight the best guys? I'm finding the best guys ever. If 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 it was a money thing, or not we can fight different opponents for those those type of stuff. So at the end of the day, the you know to get back to the belt, get a championship form. That's that's the main goal. Mm -hmm. I see. So right now there's uh, Arnold Allen uh, right in front of you. Uh, what's at stake uh, on this Saturday for you? Do you think that one win uh, would be enough to to get the title shot? Uh, I don't know. I'm not a matchmaker. We see what happens. I mean, uh, UFC, UFC or MMA is a wild sport, man. You know, one day Dana can say no title shot. The next day he can say you're having it on this day. So I, I ain't too worried. All, I'm, all I need to do out there is go out there, put the performance I know I can do. I'll put a statement out there and uh, see where it takes us. Mm -hmm, of course. So uh, Allen is on a 10 fight winning streak and uh, and I think you've been there before right because you were unbeaten in uh, 13 bouts uh, at some point so uh, I wonder because you have this experience uh, is it ki kind of trap for a fighter because you're sti starting to feel uh, like unbeatable like uh, immortal or is it even more humbling to uh, and you can get more cautious after each every win um, I cannot speak for everybody, but you know, when I was on my ten fight ten fight win streak or thirteen fight win streak, I, I paid in no mind. You know, I go into every fight oh no, and that's what we always do. You know, to give a to give myself the best shot to win, uh, uh like giving yourself too much pressure of like oh it's a thirteen fight win streak, what I gonna do is just you're really taking yourself out. You know, so every fight I go in there oh no, we go out there, we have the performance of my life and uh, have fun. Okay. So, uh, and you also mentioned uh, in your previous interviews that uh, each, every uh, training, every fight is you versus you. So I wonder, does that mean that uh, you are focused mon more on your skills and you're uh, utilizing your tools and you don't uh, put so much focus on the opponent's style during uh, preparations? 
Uh, we do our homework. No, we do our homework. We do our homework. I, I love watching tape. I love I love looking for for uh, habits and, and all that. So we do our homework one hundred percent. But but it is it is me versus me. There's gonna come to a point in a fight where you know it's things might shit might start hitting the fan. So you gotta look that down deep. Look at yourself in the mirror and be like, look, this is this is your goal time. This is your time, and you gotta go out there and get it done. Okay. Uh, so. Um... What do you think uh, also about this uh, new wave of uh, contenders like Allen, like Ilya Topuria, uh, because you fought all the legends like uh, Alex, like Aldo uh, and uh, and Frankie Edgar, so many of them. Mm, do you think that this wave of the new contenders is as good as uh, the previous ones that you faced? Uh, the beautiful thing is we get to find out, you know, I don't know. You know, I have no idea. I, I can't say... Uh... We can't say anything because a lot of them is still working, working hard. I mean, this is Alan's shot right here. So we get to find out come Saturday night. But, you know, my job is to try and stop those. And if if guys are getting thrown at me, then, uh, you know, we got to put an end to it. You know, uh, the Bless Express, uh, we, we, we choo-chooing along. Okay. And I wanted to ask you about this because you dropped a new merch uh, with the motto, uh, still there, right? If I'm not wrong. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so... Uh, do you think that people were? Uh, do you felt that people were uh, crossing you out, and you felt that this is too early? Ah, uh, yeah, for sure. You know, I think a lot of people are counting me out. I think so. I I, I think so. The, even the social media, I think so. A lot of people, uh, I think they they forget how young I am because for how how much I fought in front of them. I got I got to the UFC when I was twenty, you know, and uh, I'm 31 now. So I think so. A lot of guys think I'm like 37 or something or 38 because they're talking to me like I'm a vet vet. You know, yeah, I might be a vet of the game, but I'm not a vet vet yet in age wise. So we see what happens. You know, everybody needs a reminder sometimes, and uh, that's still here is a is a statement. You know, and I plan on going out there on a Saturday or Sunday morning for you guys and making a statement. Okay, so Max, to to wrap things up, I got a. Uh, let's call it a lightning route of, of some questions when I would like to you to answer just uh, to, to pick uh, one of these uh, or, or just say one word. So okay. uh, the few words, a uh, few questions. Uh, first one, okay. uh, what would you choose? Winning belt uh, against Yair Rodriguez, hypothetically, or beating Alex in non-title fight? Uh, Alex. Okay. Uh, which sequence uh, sequence do you consider more iconic? I'm the best boxer in the UFC against uh, Calvin Cater or showing Ortega how to defend punches? Uh, um, the best boxer is probably... Uh, the best boxer is on top of uh, cable TV, ABC, man. You can't beat that. Yeah. Uh, so who's the second best best boxer in the UFC? Uh, I don't know, bro. There's a lot of good boxers, you know? I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I'm the best boxer in the UFC. I totally believe that. I know there's other guys that think so. They're the best boxing in UFC, but there's there's a bunch of good good boxers in the UFC, I would say. Okay. Uh so what was your best performance in your opinion? My best performance would probably have to be maybe maybe the Ortega, the Ortega or the Cater fight. I think so those two fights is the best. I mean, the Cater one, I didn't take too much damage. And the Ortega one, yeah, I, I didn't take too much damage either. And I did get to uh show show a man how to defend himself for a little bit. So that was cool. Okay, uh, so who was the toughest opponent? And I mean, when you were shocked that this guy is getting beat and still standing up and not getting finished. Uh, bro, Calvin Cater. Calvin Cater takes a kick, bro. I was, my mind was blown on some of the, the, the hits he was taking. And we went five rounds. I was like, bro, good for you. You're, you're next level Boston. Okay, and the last two. Uh, what do you regret more? Coming up short against uh, Dustin Poirier at 155 or not fighting uh, Habib? at UFC 223? Oh, man, not fighting Khabib. Actually, I could be... I regret both of them, man. I Because if, if if we did not come on short, we would have got Khabib again. But, yeah, the coming up a short Khabib, man, I, I really want to... I would really want to test myself against the guys. You know, that's... Uh, if you want to be the best in the sport, a lot of people consider him one of the greatest of all time. So, to compete against a guy like that would uh, would have meant a lot to me. And the last one, do you think that the UFC will come to Hawaii before you retire? Um, I don't know, man. It's not even a UFC thing. It's a Hawaii thing. Uh, it's a uh, the Hawaii Tourism Authority. They they they're the one giving a UFC a hard time, but but there might be hope because uh someone's trying to pass a law so we can have uh, our own commission on there. So we we'll see what happens.
Okay, Max, thank you for your time. It was uh, really inspiring for, for me and I hope to have a future opportunity to speak to you. In uh, we will, man. I'll talk to you soon, man. You have a good one.